All right, gang, we have a quick video today. I just wanted to cover secondaries. Um, so we've covered like most of the meta, different meta builds, but this actually is going to be an order. Usually when I make meta classes, only the number one class is the actual meta. Any of them can be used in any order. It's all preference. But right now, I want to cover, like in my opinion, the top five best secondaries. At number five, I get the boss P. It is the most buff gun of the season, but I don't think the buff was enough to make it just top tier, like the best number one meta. I definitely think it's in top five though. I use it myself. I enjoy it. I like the mobility. Uh, it's extremely accurate as well. V37 grip on that 50 round drum, the spiral V3.5 flash hider at the VOK laser 7 milliwatt, and then 6.5 inch Bruin Drake barrel, uh, bringing that into the firing range. Uh, like I said, it kills pretty fast. It's definitely in top five. Up close is where this thing's really gonna shine. That long range target, I mean, that's outrageous. We really just should focus these top two. But anywho, it shoots just fine. It's extremely accurate. Mobility's great with it. I like the handling. ADS speed's pretty whippy with it. It's not instantaneous, but it absolutely fries. So I would definitely give this class a chance. Uh, going in at number four, we got the Lockman sub. Now, most people are gonna have this like way high up on their list lockman sub like super top tier meta for me this is number four there are too many good mobility classes right now that the lockman in my opinion replace uh, on this lockman we got the mirror recoil barrel we got the 40 round mags over pressured ammunition laser 7 milliwatt uh we have the falcon barrel it's a pretty straightforward class pretty basic it's extremely accurate itself. It actually probably does better damage at range than the boss P. Uh, but up close, I definitely know for facts this thing kills faster than the boss P. Uh, there's no doubt about that. The hit fire on it's pretty solid. It's not the best I've seen. But mixture of the mobility, how accurate, the TTK. I mean, you can't really beat that. Super solid. But I put this at number four. Again, everyone's list is going to be different. But... I wonder I want to know what the headshot multiplier is with this thing because it's pretty disgusting when you're up close how fast it actually kills people uh, number three this is where we start to see like if you're using these guns like you are going to be winning most of your confrontations uh, we got the chimera chimera is like the sleeper meta right now of the season 100% uh, on the chimera we got the TRX 56 stock the d37 grip 45 round mags blk laser 7 milliwatt uh and then i threw the Cronin mini pro on it if you want you can get rid of the mini pro and you can throw an under barrel on it you could throw maybe like the ftech ripper 56 for the uh control that recoil control or you could even throw like an over pressured round on it maybe even a hollow point but the recoil on this gun is actually ridiculous um i don't expect people to just be like super laser beams with this class it's uh it's just extremely bouncy but i mean look how fast this thing puts people away i mean that's actually outrageous definitely top three up close to ttk is instantaneous like any of these guns that are going to be in the top three but you can't complain with those and especially with this like little Krona mini pro optic the recoil is just a lot easier to maintain a lot easier to see especially if you follow my settings from yesterday make your gun smaller make your fov bigger put it to affected and that visual recoil i mean it's kind of ridiculous when you uh use guns like this it's a really just aim at the wall and shoot i mean look how high up that thing climbs that's without touching any joysticks that thing just absolutely rips i mean if we're just shoot the mannequin it kills him before it gets off of it but regardless that is heavy heavy recoil but man can you make this thing a beam all you gotta do is move a little bit pull that stick down coming in at number two i got the mp7 uh that's what i named this class the Velf 46 probably the fastest gun in the game in terms of mobility we got the slogger soldier grip the assault 60 stock we got 60 round mag the okay laser 7 milliwatt and the spiral v3 uh flash hider definitely the most accurate smg in this game right now i cannot complain with how accurate this smg is the mobility is what makes this gun meta in my opinion there are guns the lockman sub is a faster ttk than the mp7 but whatever you're able to actually like run and jump and move when everyone else is walking around like they're in mud it is absolutely broken and the hip fire is not horrible again this is one of those classes where you can really bust out that hip fire 
I don't know if it's gonna do much at that mid range. No way. But anywhere from like this guy and closer, I mean that's super gettable. That's super doable. Definitely number two on the meta list in my books. And then number one, I think everybody knows who's gonna be. We get the ISO 45. This gun is absolutely insanity. Every time I pick it up, it just feels right. Got the 830 stout grip on it. Got the demo tack fade on it. 45 round mag, Sparrow V3 fly five flash hider and the seven inch x raptor barrel gang this thing puts people away oh my god it's like every time i pick this thing up it's closing time oh that recoil is crazy but oh my god does it kill people fast you gotta run this class mobility on it's actually really really good ads is a little snappy kind of slow but again it doesn't matter when you're able to just run up on people and give them that fucking pipe because this gun is so dominant it just if you feel like cod's back bro cod's about guns absolutely grinders arcadey style to have some movement and that's what the iso 45 does for me gang listen if you're new to the channel you enjoy the content i need you to hit that sub button crush that like button i'll catch you tomorrow for another banger let's get it boys